I just came across this tweet this morning, McCovey Chronicles. Go ahead and give them a follow. Really good Giants content over on X. It says, all I'm saying is I'm not entirely opposed to the Giants taking Mike Trout's contract off the Angels' hands. What? An injured superstar is kind of perfect for the Giants outfield because it gives them the talent upgrade they desperately need while also keeping the door open from Matos, McCray, Meckler, Luciano to get playing time and emerge as quality MLB players. Hot take right there from McCovey Chronicles for sure. But the responses I feel like are mostly negative. Absolutely not. SMJR, stay the course developing our own until we are competitive. Then add elite players, not more declining injury prone, overpaid veterans. An over the hill outfielder who can't stay healthy. Yeah, right up the Giants alley. Right offhand, I have to admit, it is intriguing to think about a bona fide Real superstar, future Hall of Famer, something that the Giants have lacked, at least offensively, being on this team in that lineup every day. The problem is, would he really be in the lineup every day? That's the biggest issue. He signed that extension in 2019 around spring training, 12-year extension, I remember it well, goes through 2030. Trot would be 40 years old when that contract finishes. It's worth 400 plus million dollars and the angels are currently paying him 37 million per year through 2030 that's an insane amount of money for any team to take on especially for a player who's had injury issues now his first year in 2019 he was elite he was healthy he won the mvp hit 45 bombs had an ops over a thousand and even in 2020, in the COVID-shortened year, he played in every game but seven. He had a 993 OPS, finished in fifth for the MVP. But in 2021, that's where the problems began for Trout. He had what looked like a minor calf strain at first, but it turned out to be a complete tear. And he missed the entire season after just 36 games. But he was still elite during those 36 games. In 2022, more problems, back spasms. He was diagnosed with costovertebral dysfunction, which some quick Google searches say is when the joints between the ribs and the vertebrae are irritated, compressed, or rotated. Doesn't sound super pleasant, but he still played in 119 games, hit 40 bombs, made the All-Star team, won a Silver Slugger, got MVP votes. Remember the last Giants hitter to just hit 30 home runs is still Barry Bonds. Even in a season where Trout missed 43 games, he hit, still hit 40 home runs. But in 2023, he had that broken bone in his hand, missed the rest of the season, played in just 82 games, still made the all-star team, still showed that talent. Then this season, 2024, the big comeback from Mike Trout, and he started the year on fire. Six bombs in his first 11 games, but a torn meniscus in his left knee, sidelined him, and then he retore it trying to rehab, ended his season. He did a little minor league rehab, I believe, but never made it back. He ended up playing in just 29 games, 10 home runs, just couldn't stay on the field. That's four straight seasons that he couldn't stay on the field. So that's just a quick recap of his recent injury history. And remember, this was in his early 30s, late 20s, early 30s. Now he's 33. So the Angels got what was supposed to be the best years of that extension, late 20s, early 30s. He was hurt the whole time. Nearly the whole time. A couple of years he wasn't, but spent a lot of time off the field. And so if you pick up that kind of contract, now you're paying Trout from age 33 to 40, the typical declining years of a player. And you're going to handicap yourself financially, paying out $37 million a year. So you're not going to be able to put as much into free agency or other extensions when someone does work out. So one of your prospects works out, is going to become a free agent. Maybe you can't give him an extension like you want to because too much money is tied up in trout now if he's playing and he's producing it's all fine but if he's not if he's still hurt that hurts bad because that money is tied up in an injured player he would be instantly the highest paid player on the roster blake snell made 35 million so i believe he would be the highest paid player right now on the giants roster so even though my first reaction when i read this is like yes 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 The Giants desperately need a real superstar player. 
someone like a Mike Trout, someone like a Mookie Betts, someone like a Judge, someone the fans actually come to the ballpark to see every day. That we have, we've had a few great pitchers, and we have some really good pitchers. But offensively, we have nice players and players I like. But are people running to the ballpark to see Michael Conforto? I don't know. Like if the Giants go on a road trip and they play a game in St. Petersburg, okay, against the Rays, are Rays fans like? We got the Giants are in town. We got to get to the game. We got to see Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade is in town. I like Lamont Wade. Great pickup. But we lack a superstar. It's not just to have fans want to come to the ballpark. It's for that production. There's a reason they're called superstars. They give you massive production. They're going to hit 30 plus home runs, 40 plus home runs. They're going to have an OPS close to a thousand, if not over. Serious producers, and it and it creates. Gets you other other guys in the lineup better pitches because they don't want to face that guy. They may walk and we 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 bet Giants fans know we have Barry Bonds. It affects the entire team. It makes the whole team better. We have a, an amazing superstar talent. So the pros are it's Mike Trout. We need someone like that. And I think he probably has at least one big year left in that bat, maybe two. Is it worth it to pay him six years until he's 40? for maybe one or two great years, if you're lucky. I think he's got another big year left. I could be wrong, but even if he does, if he couldn't stay healthy at 30, 31, 32, 33, why do we assume he would be healthy at 36, 37, 38, 39, 40? I don't think he probably will. I think he might have one good year left at age 34, 35, and I could be wrong. Maybe this is just a bunch of freak injuries. And maybe he'll be great again for three or four straight years, but it may be just too big of a risk. While I would love to have someone like Mike Trout, and I'd love to have Mike Trout himself in the Bay Area, let's just think about it. If he was a free agent, would the Giants give him six years for $37 million a year through age 40? No, I don't think any team would. You shouldn't take on the existing contract either because it's essentially the same. The only way to get him is if the Angels would be willing to take on a whole bunch of that contract, a big portion of that contract, in which case... I'm all for it, but, you know, as long as it makes sense. But I do think we need a big name dude. And I'm hoping that Bryce Eldridge is that guy. We just don't know yet. But if we do opt to get that player in free agency, I think we just got to get someone maybe a little younger or at least a little less injury prone. I just don't think it's worth it. That contract is just a little too much. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, all that said, if the Giants did snag Mike Trout and take that whole contract off, off of the Angels' hands, I don't think it's the smartest move. But you know what? It ain't my money. I'll be happy and I'll be excited to go see Mike Trout in a Giants uniform. And I'll just hope and pray he stays healthy. But um, it just seems a little too risky. But at the same time, the Giants desperately need a star like that. So... It's, it's, a, it's a hot take, but it's an interesting take from McCovey Chronicles. I think I would be opposed to taking Mike Trout's contract off the Angels' hands just because it's such a huge contract and it goes all the way to age 40 and he's had four straight years where he couldn't stay on the field. It just feels a little too risky, but maybe desperate times call for desperate measures. What do you guys think? Put it in that comment section down below. We'll talk to you later.